Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I decided to make a video update on the SPP Legion repack update because a lot of things have changed in the past uh, month and the repack is itself has been fully updated to a single version and the uh, SPP configuration app is now uh, renamed and completely remade into a completely different application altogether now known as uh, SPP Legion Management and I would like to make a video about this too so today we are going to concentrate on uh, not only installing the server but also setting the server from LAN play because I had a few people and subscribers of mine asking me how you actually set up a WoW server to run in your LAN network where you can connect with the different uh, computers and different accounts and play with your family or your friends or whatever. So we are going to do that as well. So hope you enjoyed the video and if you like my stuff please consider liking and subscribing because that really helps me motivate me to make more content and fairly decent content. So thanks for watching, enjoy the video. Okay, so we're going to start uh, basically by going to the Discord server of SPP. And if you have never been to the SPP server, you can open the SPP-forum.de and right on the very first page, you're going to be greeted with the main page being saying on the top a game service category added to the forum. And right under it is the Discord channel. You wanna click the link and click accept the invite and it's going to ask you to open your application and after you open Discord you want to find the single player project you want to go on news and you're going to be greeted with some of the little newer projects they have been updated recently so the SPP Legion project you have to scroll up and find it now it's going to it's going to be called SPP Legion V2 Year 1 Repackage Repack. So you want to download this. And after you have downloaded it, it's going to be 5.4 gigabytes in total. And it's going to be 7 zip archive. So then you want to go into the into the link for the management application I will link this into the description So it's called uh, SPP Legion V2 Management. You want to download it. The latest version as of making of this video is going to be 00.213. And after you download it both, you want to extract your uh, server repack. And uh, well, that might take a while depending on configuration. Okay, so after you have done extracting your repack, you want to also extract the uh, SPP management. That should be pretty quick, the application is fairly small. So what you want to do is you want to go to the SPP year one repack folder and you want to run the database and web. Don't run the rest of the server for now. Uh, wait until the web page has opened. And after the web page has been opened, you want to press the Windows key and type CMD. Then you want to go and run this as administrator. Then in the CMD, you type ipconfig. Then space slash all. 
and that's going to give you detail, detailed information on your network. So you want to find the IPv4 address. And you want to copy this. And you can close this window for now. Then you want to go to the SDP Legion V2 management page. You want to find the SDP Legion V2 management application. Now, since a lot has changed uh, from the configuration application that uh, from that we used before to make this, we are going to go first into settings and configure where is the SPP folder for me currently is on my desktop. So it's SPP to one year, select the folder. Then you want to go and find your client folder. So. And after you have found the right uh, folders here on top, you're going to see server configuration check client configuration check, database connection check. Then you want to go to config generator. Then you want to click check configs. And this is going to give you a detailed information of what's not set properly and what is set properly. So you want to go and change the build to 26972. If that's your client, if you have the older client, you can set that too then go to the set IP and now paste the IP that we copied from CMD press OK now export configs then check and it should come up with the uh, game build version check numbers match uh, Bind IP address, uh, settings match are set properly, IP settings for your hosting are all matched, then you press OK. Now I want to talk also about the account manager. You see, when you, on, on the older version of SPPs, you had to use either the web page to make an account or you had to type a command into the web server to make an actual account, where now with this application you can simply create any type of an account. For example, you click create account and you can name it uh, whatever you want. And you're going to find it and here you can change the uh, game master level from one, minus one to up to six if I'm not wrong, from one to six, yeah and you want to change a pa uh, you want to set up a password for the account it can be anything and then you click apply changes to database okay so now we can try to log in with the account that we created so you want to go back to the server folder, start the second one, and here on under added RAM single player project, it's going to show your IP address that you're hosting on your IP address. Then you want to run the world server. Should also be noted that the first time you run SPP Legion, it's going to take probably some time for the server to fully load. Uh, it might take also some time for the client to actually let you log in. If you have uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, it might take up to five minutes, depends. Uh, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, so for me it's uh, not a big deal. It keep, my server can stay in the RAM and I still have like 10 gigabytes of RAM free. And after you hear the Windows notification sound, you're going to know that your server is ready to play. Then you want to start your client. And now we can use the account we created. And oh, 
and you're going to come up to the single player project prompt and it's going to ask you to create your character and then you create your character anyhow you want and you set your name and you basically press enter world and you are absolutely ready to go you can do the exact same thing on a different computer but you're going to need to use the IP address that you have set on the wall client for it to run otherwise if you use a different IP address you won't be able to connect and I'm pretty sure that this only works for your internal in-house connection so you cannot connect externally from let's say a another internet this only works for your home, for your house, because it's a local connection. Okay, I guess this is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover with this video. Uh, thanks for watching, consider liking and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.